by retelling a story, we create a movement in something that became rigid. And maybe this is the reason why people need literature. There is a moment of magic when you find a character. And a writer has to be like an athlete, in fact. You've got to get out there every single day and kick the ball and kick the ball and kick the ball in order for the ball to eventually go in the goal when you're playing on the field. <laughs> I don't know if my words are right. She says she's a red-feathered songbird who flew here from a faraway land. The power of irony in a novel means creating a space, creating a world in which two opposite ideas are at the same time true. Don Quixote is the craziest man in the whole of Spain and at the same time he's the only sane man in Spain. Everyone knows we don't fall when we dance alone I'll take the lead and when I look away I'll be that shy gorgeous girl for me to steal And when I was five she said can you write a book and I said why and she said I'll pay you cheese I love cheese and so I wrote a book called Lenin and his Magical Goose, which is about Lenin meets this magical goose in the 20s and they invade Finland and try to create a socialist revolution. But then we find out the, the goose is Menshevik, Lenin of course is Bolshevik, and then Lenin eats the goose for political reasons. <laughs> Five years old, right? And my grandmother loved it and she gave me a hundred pieces of cheese. And today, most of my publishers pay me in cheese too. So. <laughs> I can't 